What is going on you guys? How are you guys doing today? It's your boy Wavy Raven. In today's video guys, I am going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to win more duo games. But before we get started, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It does mean a lot. Also, please be sure to hit that like button if you have enjoyed the video. Alright guys, getting into this video, we are going to be going through the top I guess you could say facts and top tips and tricks on how to win an apex duo game if you are new if you are experienced but you still haven't hit that dub now honestly tip number one and this is where it all comes into play find somebody that you can play with and communicate with find someone that you know and that you can vibe with because honestly, you guys see in all my videos, Dirt Mods, my boy, he's always in my videos and we're always taking dubs. I mean, yeah, sometimes we're not, but sometimes we are. And the reason we take dubs a lot in Apex Legends, and you guys saw those two back-to-back -back dubs that we did take, that was because of communication. When you have that communication and you guys are listening in-game and you're also listening to your partner or your teammate or your other half of the duo, whatever you want to call it, it goes a long way. And when I mean a long way, guys, I'm telling you, it's more than having a random on your team and pinging stuff. Because that... Random on your team could just run all the way into freaking Jabip, and you're sitting here all, huh? Well, I got a target on my back now. I'm about to die because my teammate's not here. Right? Right. Now, also, another thing is that you're going to want to make the right decision now decision making this is where you go back into high school or middle school or pre-k or kindergarten or whatever you learn decision making in whatever grade you learn decision making in and you put that to the test you decide whether you want to push that team without your friend or you decide whether you and your friend can push that team and successfully win that is one thing that you guys have to take into consideration when playing a duo's game, whether to push or not. I know you don't have that third person, which makes it only a foursome instead of a six sum. You don't have to, you know, you have to worry about that. But your booty cheeks still could get clapped, to be honest, depending on what kind of armor you got. And, you know, it's. It gets real in the Apex Zone. World's Edge. Oh, it gets weird. It it gets real. Trust me. Now, another thing that you guys have to worry about, and it's, it's also all about positioning, okay? Tip number three, positioning. Why do I say positioning? Now, wah, wah, wah. I'm a baby playing Call of Duty. Actually, in this case, Apex. But... You want to catch that dub, you're going to want to have that high, that high, I guess you could say, high elevation, high level on the other team. But you also don't want to be out in the open. As you guys can see, me and Dirt Mods are in this building here, and we are just camping it, I guess you could say. But that's one thing. We have the positioning. We have, we're in the ring. We have the positioning, we have the armor that we need, so when it comes down to it, we can just play for the win. And that's what we're doing right here. Now, tip number four I think I'm on is um, to stock up early on, okay? Stock up with heals, stock up with, um, with shield batteries, shield cells, Mad kits, Phoenix kits, whatever you can get your hands on. And also, there's one thing that has been very underrated in this game, and it's the Ultimate Accelerator. I don't know how many of you use this Ultimate Accelerator, but I see myself not really using the Ultimate Accelerator that much. Or even keeping some in my inventory, because I think that it's worthless. But honestly, it is not. 
If you have a gold or purple backpack, I would at least keep one ultimate ultimate accelerator in your inventory because it's it's really nice to have when you're in these sticky situations and you're either a Bangalore or a Wraith or a Caustic or even a Bloodhound. I mean, Lifeline, yeah. When you get into the, like, into the, hey, I'm going to play to win game, your ultimate really doesn't matter because you're only going to get a purple, a purple shield. I mean, yeah, you might get some heals and everything like that, which is good, but your ultimate means more when you have, like, something lethal instead of tactical, like, I guess you could say lifelines. So, make sure that you guys are healing up, making sure you're taking your health and your shield consideration here as well. Now, last but not least, guys, we have the one tip that is really, really key to this. And it's the legends that you pick. Okay, now, the reason I pick Bangalore is because she has smoke. Obviously, you want to have that smoke, so if your teammate gets spotted or you get spotted, you're going to be able to just smoke and run out of there. And even if you're going to try to, like, capture a supply drop or capture or loot some supply bins, but there's people nearby, boom, pop the smoke, they can't see you. Your teammate goes down. He runs into a corner, but there's still people around. You just hit that smoke, bop. Then you res. There's always a key to Bangalore, but you're going to want to pick the most... I guess you could pick your main, the person that you main, but make sure you know how to use their abilities. I'm learning Bangalore... A lot. I've been using Revenant, but you know, and Bloodhound, but I kind of taken a liking to Bangalore and her smoke. It's just amazing. Even her ult, her ult is fantastic as well. You could just easily pop it. As you guys will see here, I'll just easily pop it on this team that comes up and tries to get us, and it makes them it makes them run. And that's one thing that you want. You're going to want to make them run towards you or run away from you so that you guys can easily loot, take advantage of that supply drop, or take advantage of those death boxes that are sitting there. Now, him using Lifeline is actually really good because if you're, if you're hit, okay, and you don't have any shield, but you have some shield cells and you're low on syringes, Lifeline is going to help with that. Because she could just deploy her drone and boom, you're good. But if your teammate even has like some legendary armor and you only have blue, boom, that lifeline package comes down, bop. You just got yourself some purple armor. If if it does come out, more, more than likely you will get some purple armor, which is pretty good. But honestly, it's all about the legend that you play with as well. Because, I mean, any legend can win an Apex Legends duo, but when you have strategy with a legend, that is where it's at. Strategy is where it's at with a legend, with the legend that you pick. Because if you guys know how your teammate uses that legend and how you use your legend, I think you're perfectly fine. You guys are perfectly fine when it comes to that. But really, guys, other than that... That's really how you win an Apex Legends duo. Communication, making sure you're stacked up, making sure you pick the right legends, making sure that you guys make the right decisions as well. And other than that, that's pretty much about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I'm on my way to hitting 200 subscribers. I would thank you so much if you guys could get me there by the end of 2020. And please be sure to turn on that notification bell as well so you guys don't miss a video here at Apex Legends. And also, please be sure to comment below whether you guys learned anything in this video. And give me some tips. Give me some 
tips and tricks of my own to see how I can improve my content for you guys. Also, comment down below how many Apex Legends duos or squads ones you guys have. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say, so please comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay so you guys can get the rest of the time to really take in what we've done here. And I hope you have been watching this as well and, you know, dissecting it and seeing what I'm actually doing and how we actually took the dub in this video. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been Wavy Raven. Stay wavy, fam. Down the target. Let's displace here. Give me a sec. Recharging shields. Give my shields a recharge. It's on. Rings moving. Apex Champions.